Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my very first Christmas decorate with me for 2022. So we are in the bedroom today and I was really inspired by the fresh snowfall that we received last night. It's beautiful outside. For those that are new here, we are actually renting this little lake cabin until our new home is complete. So I'm going to be decorating a whole new space with you today and I cannot wait to share it with you. I have my little helper Charlie here, but first to get started, I actually wanna strip the bed and get our bedding into the washing machine. I wanna give this room a good cleaning as we just haven't been able to do that since we moved in here. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our freezing. This cabin came furnished, which is really nice for us a lot easier as far as moving in. However, we have to provide like bedding, towels, and of course the Christmas decor to make it all cozy and festive for this holiday season. I'm basing my decor in this room off of the headboard. It really gives me those rustic vibes. So hoping to create a just cozy retreat. But before I can do that, I must clean all the things. Very dusty. I'm using the seventh generation wood cleaner as well as the sprayway glass cleaner on both of the lamps. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Now, if this is your first Christmas here on my channel, one thing you must know is that I absolutely love decorating for Christmas. I go all out and I love to share it here on my channel. So if you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you stick around. You know, this year is a little bit different for us. We are not in our new home. However, Christmas decorating just brings me so much joy and our four kids enjoy it so much as well. So lots of new spaces to decorate and so many memories to be made. Waiting for my sheets in the washing machine before I continue on with the room. I always like to start with the bed first. I don't know, it just sets the tone for the entire space. So we're gonna start with the bed, but before that, while I'm waiting for it to dry, I wanted to thank Native for sponsoring today's video. Now, I've worked with them so many different times. I'm a huge fan of their products. I think I've been using them now for almost two years, but I made this switch over to their aluminum-free deodorant way back when, and I have been forever hooked. They always come out with the most fun scents as well, which I'm a big fan of. For my deodorant pack this time around, I chose the Coconut Vanilla citrus and herbal musk and the cucumber mint. I'm currently using the citrus one mainly because I'm saving my most favorite scent ever, the cucumber and mint for last. I do not like cucumbers. I don't care for the scent of cucumbers, but for whatever reason, this scent is incredible and I am not even joking. I just went through a body wash in that scent and I will definitely be repurchasing it here after the holidays. I did see there's some really fun scents that I'm looking forward to try next. The candy cane, there's a sugar cookie and even a fresh mistletoe option too. So I think I'll have to wait till after the holidays, but cucumber and mint is definitely my favorite. 
Native deodorant is aluminum and paraben-free. It's also vegan and cruelty-free, but they're made from familiar and simple ingredients such as like coconut oil and shea butter. Dries quickly and it isn't sticky at all. And I mentioned this earlier, but Native also has body wash and toothpaste available too. Native has a deodorant pack which you get three deodorants, usually for $39, but if you use my link down below and the code CRYSTAL3, it will get you that deodorant pack for right around $26, so it saves you 33%. My code will also save you 20% off of body washes and toothpaste. Back to our bedroom, so I think to get started, I want to move this air purifier over to the other side of the doors. It kind of sticks out, it's kind of an awkward spot. I actually would rather have it closer to our bed, just um, that's how we had it in our other house and I prefer it that way. So I'm gonna move this over. This is a laundry basket, which I might just shift down a little bit and then we'll make the bed. When we were moving here, we were literally scrambling just to get set up and so we could start living here. So now that I have a little bit of time, I'm like, okay, maybe we should move this here and it just works a little bit better for us. So yeah, you've seen me do that with the living room as far as rearranging the furniture and I will probably continue to do it until we leave here, which is hopefully no longer than three months, but it could be four. have a Christmas candle lit and on my Google I have Christmas music like blasting loud at this point but we are going to start decorating with the headboard I was going to make the bed first but I thought you know what the garland is probably a safer thing to start with the one I'm using came from Kirkland's and I'm also going to be adding these battery operated lights from Sam's Club that were a gift last year from a subscriber now the garland itself is beautiful on its own but just to elevate it I think adding just a few lights will be really pretty at night. I initially thought this garland would go in our living room however I really just like how drapey the branches are and the shade of green I think it'll look really nice once everything is decorated. When it comes to seasonal decorating, I know it can be so overwhelming when you pull out all the totes, look through all your decor and have no idea where to start. Well, for me, I've definitely had that. And for that reason, I always just start decorating in our bedroom. I feel like it's a smaller space with only a few areas that I need to focus on and it just really gets me into the holiday spirit. I also, when it comes to the bedroom, I like to start with a bed because I feel like that just sets the tone for the entire space.
to the bed, I added flannel sheets, which is a must have for us during the winter months. We have below zero temperatures, so staying warm is definitely important to us. And the comforter I'm adding is one that I scored last year from Target. I have been waiting for almost an entire year to use it, but it is so soft and cozy. I don't think that they still sell it. However, they have a different pattern available, so I will make sure to link it down below. For the decorative pillows I added to that I've had for many years now from Hearth and Hand at Target. They're my go-tos and I think they'll be on my bed every single year for, for a long time. I love them that much and joy is just my favorite word. This throw blanket was a fun find from Aldi of all places. So cozy and soft and completes the bed. I took down the wall art that the owner had on the wall and replaced it with my red truck canvas art print that came from Kirkland's. table there I just added decor that I have had for many years that little sleeps till Christmas sign is from Hobby Lobby and I did see it in store the last time I was there the red lantern was from Walmart and the flock trees I've collected over the years from Target they're all just really pretty and to avoid putting any nails or holes into the wall since it's not our home I thought that would be a fun way to decorate that space but as I was vacuuming I was thinking to myself, it's just a little bit bare over here and I feel like I need to go dig out my Christmas tree. So I actually went to our little shack where I had stored just a few of our random Christmas decorations and happened to come across the tree that I have added in our bedroom for a few years now. So going to finish off the decorating today by adding a little Christmas tree. This one's from Hobby Lobby. You can see it's initialed K. I think it's probably the same one, but it is a 
cashmere slim tree. It's pretty on its own, which is perfect since I did not bring a lot of tree decorations here with us. Okay, my friends, that is going to be it for today's Christmas bedroom. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. It's a little bit simpler than I usually do, but it's still definitely cozy and festive for this holiday season. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out that native link down below in the description box, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.